hello hello everyone uh, here we shall see about data storage interface what are the interface it has to communicate with the data storage medium that we can able to see here we have different storage interfaces something like uh, ide or pata that is integrated drive electronics or parallel at attachment pata and we have serial at attachment sata sata hard disk is the one that we are using over here in our desktop everywhere and serial attached sesi that is uh, little advanced version of sata and it has more performance over there and we have compact flash and uh, we have emmc secure digital interface and we have cfast interface and we have non volatile memory express interface and then we have m.2 or u.2 kind of interfaces available over here and it's and we can see how the interface will be that we can able to explore and here we have something here we have ide and pata something like integrated drive electronics and the parallel at attachment it will be having different things something like 40 data pins it will be in parallel and then four pin power connectors and you can able to connect maximum two drives in a single bus for example this will be a cable that will be present you can connect two drives that it can be able to connect per controller there is you can able to see there is a jumper present here which makes that with the jumper connected is the one the master and a slave so that you can able to you cannot connect both master in one con on controller you cannot connect both slaves in the one controller it should be master and slave and so that you can able to connect two drives in your IDE or Pata and we have data transfer up to 133 megabits per second and it is an integrated drive electronics and develop, it was developed by an Western Digital Corporations basically and we have that the next one is serial AT attachment that SATA hard disk is the one which has something like a serial data signal technology something like it will use this before going further we will say that always say the parallel interface is faster than serial interface that's why we might have that's what we might have studied in our during the educations how much this one serial AT attachment is performing faster than parallel AD attachment it has to be slow right in case of serial the thing is that we will be having in the parallel we have around uh, 16 data pins the something like when you are going to get a bus or train when you are rushing to reach one place if you are in single you will be reaching at the very faster and uh, if you are 10 members are going for the single one and uh, all the 10 will be reaching at the same time it does not will not occur it will be slower basically similar way that it has to work with respect to clock whenever that we are sending that uh, data in the parallel it may not reach it properly and we have the advanced technology called differential signal pair basically differential signal pair which is basically pata has been built up with the single ended pair single ended signal in case of sata it has been built with the differential signal pair that is something like transmit 10 100 ohms differential pair and receive 100 ohms differential pair and it has three ground signals and for integrity and with the differential signals it can able to transmit at a very higher speed and it it is immune to noise due to a differential pair it has two signals one will be a positive signal and one will be a negative signal if the signal got 
affected by the noise both positive and negative will get affected and when we sum up at the end of receiving we will be getting the good signal that it provides to push higher speed signals into the serial data basically that's why that serial attachment AT attachment performing faster than parallel AT attachment and it has that 15 pin power connectors and it can able to transfer the data at 22 point gigabits per second sorry that is the mistake over here gigabits per second and we can extend up to 15 ports using a multiplayer basically and we have that next uh, storage interface is something like serial attached csi and it has something like a smaller form factor and long cabling distance and point to point connection it has four duplex data planes each lane up can run up to 3 6 and 12 gigabytes per second with respect to four full duplex lines it can go up to 48 or 96 gigabyte gigabits per second data and it has the pcie based foster access also based communication as well which provides more foster access basically and we have that it can able to support up to 144 drives by per four ports basically we can able to expand that more drives can be connected with that by using this and we have that similar to uh, sd or micro sd earlier we have used to have compact flash which is a flash memory mass storage device and it's something like a pc card slot it is a very different slot uh, with respect to uh, compact flash or anything else we have that pc card slot with an adapter we can able to connect communicate with the pc it is used as a ata or pcmcs storage basically and here we have that 16 data pins that is d0 to d15 and then we will use that some four to five address pins and selection address selection pins based on that address and it's something like we have card detect once you plug this card the system has to detect that card detect and it can able to transfer up to 150 kilobytes per second basically and we have the other version of compact flash something like a cfast cfast is variant of compact flash but it is based on serial ata bus serial ata attachment bus which can able to transfer up to 600 megabytes per second and it has that 7 pin sort of data connector and it has that 17 pin data connectors which is both are females basically and in case of here SATA we have that both are males and we have to connect with here in order to connect since it CFAST is based on serial ATA bus we can connect that SATA interface with this CFAST but thing is we need an adapter to connect that uh, uh, SATA which uses the male connector here the CFAST uses the female connector basically it provides much bigger out, uh, performance it's up to 600 megabytes per second and we have that different other storage interfaces that emmc and sd storage interfaces it has that data bus with of one bit or four bit or eight bit and basically that it has to say that four or eight bit basically that initial access will start with the one bit and it will detect whether that the emmc or sd has 4 bit access or 8 bit access based on the detection it will configure itself and start the access basically and this one is having that single ended clock and single ended command signal basically and it has 3 pins power and ground and we have it operates in 2.7 to 3.6 voltage range and it supports different modes something like a serial peripheral interface mode and sdio mode nowadays all the pro all the processors are having secure digital host controller interface which supports supported with the sdio which is fast enough to play with that emmc or sd inter sd micro cards basically and the next one we have that 
non volatile memory express basically similar to pca express we have non volatile memory express non volatile memory express are based with that uh, flash memory and it will be accessed via a pcie bus basically it's something similar to that uh, as a logical device interface with a lower latency and parallelism on solid state drives like flash drives basically it's fully exploits that uh, parallelism in the ssd so that we can able to achieve that much faster and we have the pcie bus so that uh, the transaction can be initiated from here and there also so that it makes that uh, uh, increased performance and it reduces that io overhead and uh, delay between the request and uh, transfer so that it can able to we can able to achieve that much more higher performance basically and here we have that 2.0 inch form factor of uh, non volatile memory express and also we can use that a uh, non volatile memory express on over the stand as a standard pcie expansion card as well that we can able to use and we have that next version is something like m.2 and uh, here we have that information this one is u.2 standard and here we have that m.2 standard which is something like next generation form factor it is very small in size and it supports pcie sata usb 3.0 its manufacturer will select which interface to use whether to use with the sata 3.0 or pcie 3.0 or usb 3.0 and it supports nvme as a logical interface and it can operates many io operations in parallel basically and depends upon the manufacturer of host and device that it can able to communicate for example if the manufacturer of host supports pcie and uh, we cannot connect that uh, m.2 card with the sata based interface or usb based interface we have to connect with that uh, m.2 with the pcie interface basically and it's exposed between that host and device basically and it is a revision revised and improved version of the m sata and it performs much much higher than the sata basically that we can see that how we can interface this one into our pc and how we can write a driver for this all those interfaces how the driver supports of the linux are available that we will see in our next coming sessions Th uh, thank you for watching you can contact me at nvhariharan at nevitech.com i am basically a embedded linux uh, developer i i would in iot and uh, machine learning domain and uh, you can contact me at nvhariharan at the date of nevitech.com thank you for watching have a nice day you can subscribe subscribe me for more updates thank you